Hello friends, welcome to my channel. And in this video we will see how to set up Splunk in an Oracle VirtualBox CentOS image. Login to the VM using root user ID and password. Type IP address show to get the IP address map to the VM. Open PuTTY software from your PC and will be connecting to the CentOS using IP address of the VM. To install Splunk, we need to download the Splunk trial version from Splunk.com. This is valid for 60 days. Go to Splunk.com and click on Free Splunk. You need to register with your email address and login before you can download the Splunk trial version. Once you log in, go to Linux and download the .tgz package. We don't need to download the actual package, click on download via command line, wget, and copy the wget command to download the Splunk package. Before we download the package and install Splunk, let's create a new user with name Splunk and give necessary access which we will be using to install Splunk. Change the login to Splunk user, you can run the command get conf long underscore bit to know the architecture and download 64 or 32 bit of Splunk. Now let's run the wget command to download splunk.tgz package. Oops. We got an error. This is because wget is not found. Log into root account and run yum install wget to install it. Now let's change back to Splunk user and download Splunk software using wget command. Wait for the download to complete.
The download is complete. And check the name of the package downloaded. This is required to unzipping the Splunk file to OPT location. Follow the command as per the instruction on screen. Now Splunk is extracted to OPT location. Give the full permission to the user Splunk to folder Splunk. Change the folder to OPT slash Splunk slash bin location. Start the Splunk instance by running the command, dot slash Splunk start accept license. Given an admin account name and password. Please make sure you remember this. Which is needed to log into Splunk portal web page. If you forget username or password we cannot retrieve it. Once the setup is completed you will get the Splunk portal address on the screen. Which will be usually your VM host name port 8000. Run the command to enable Splunk startup on boot. Now we have completed the setup for Splunk. Let's try running the address in web browser. You would have tried both hostname port 8000 and IP address port 8000. However it is not working. I had to spend long analysis to find out why it was not working. It is because of the firewall blocking the connection. So you need to open the ports in CentOS VM. Follow the commands as per the instructions.
Great. We have the Splunk portal loaded now. Log into the page using admin username and password which you have set at the time of installation. We don't have any data to be indexed. We will see in the next tutorial how to set up Splunk forwarder and connect that to the main Splunk server. Thank you for watching. If you like the video kindly subscribe to my channel and give thumbs up.